Good morning, welcome back to Talking Planning and welcome to Bus Week. This week we're going to go and look at Brisbane's bus network because unlike many other cities, Brisbane's got something quite unusual. So if you look at the majority of large cities, what you'll find is that the vast majority of people using public transport tend to travel by train. Train tends to be the most popular mode of transport in many cases accounting for somewhere between 50 and 80 percent of journeys. Now in southeast Queensland, trains, roughly speaking, account for about a quarter of journeys, so 25 percent. The vast majority of public transport in southeast Queensland and Brisbane is delivered by these bad boys, buses. So I thought it would be a really sensible time to go and have a look at some of southeast Queensland's and Queensland's fleet as a whole and this week you will see five reviews looking at our midi buses, full size buses, three axle buses, articulated buses and some double deckers for good measure. One of the reasons I decided that it would be a good idea to do this is I've had a little bit of an interest in what I'm liking to call transport user experience and that is realistically what makes a good journey and what makes a good bus. And I've been having a bit of a think about what that could mean as a career decision as well. So, never say never, but I have been thinking about what opportunities there are in that space to develop and, you know, compete and provide something new as a benefit to business and a benefit to our transport sector. Um, so that's something I'm really interested in. So without further ado, let's jump into Bus Week with our first video of the week which is on the MIDI bus. Let's kick off day one of bus week with the MIDI bus. And today we're going to take a ride on Logan City Bus Services, Mercedes-Benz 0405 NH MIDI with a bus tech body. Unlike the standard 12.5 metre bus, which would normally have 45 to 50 seats with a single door, these are a 39 seater and are probably around 11 metres in length. Late 90s and early 2000s bus techs like this one were known for their very angular styling with a unusually slanted front windscreen and big boxy design everywhere else. It's pretty safe to say you can tell it's about a 20 year old vehicle and it does look dated compared to many other more modern buses on our roads. This one being a Mercedes 0405 NH, they also tend to be a bit noisier and have a noisy transmission and engine, which certainly means they're nowhere near as quiet as today's modern city buses. Whilst I don't find that to be too much of an issue as I actually don't mind the noise of them, I think many people looking for a quiet and comfortable commute will probably look elsewhere and are more keen on some of Logan City Bus Service's newer products. Given the fact you've made it this far in the video, I'm probably guessing you're a bit of a transport nerd, so sit back and have a quick listen to the loud sound that these buses put out. So let's check out the interior of this bus. You'll notice that like any other 20 year old bus, there's a few bits of wear and tear. Some of the seat fabrics have been replaced and not all seats are matching, but you'll still find a fair few seats trimmed in the State Transit New South Wales fabric, which is quite funny to see whilst in Queensland. You'll notice that the poles and railings are painted in yellow and that the stop bells are of a very standard design. You'll also find that there is a next stop light at the front of the bus, which is normal, but there's also one right at the back above the rear seats. This is quite handy as it means if you're standing and you're facing backwards, you can see whether someone's requested a stop, which is something that's not fitted to many buses these days. You'll also find that the window line can sometimes be a little bit difficult to see out of, particularly if you're 
a taller passenger sitting up at the back. Legroom is generally quite good throughout these seats and the wheel, whilst it does intrude, they've left extra space over the rear wheels so that you're not too crammed in. So I think they've got a lot of things right. One surprise though is that there is actually no seats over the front wheels near the driver. These are just used as storage bins. Given the age of these little Mercedes, I imagine that they're probably not going to be left with Logan City Bus Service for all that long. But you never know. One thing I would say is I have not seen any clear replacements for a bus of this size. So if something is being delivered to replace them, I'm really not sure what it will be. So I'm just as curious as you are probably to find out. That being said, they are a good little bus and they have a good purpose for quiet, small services that don't need a full-size vehicle so it'll be interesting to see if a new version of a bus like this gets put into their business plans once again thanks for joining me on talking planning see you again soon and join me tomorrow for day two of bus week